many people within the accountancy profession know me from lecturing and advising firms of accountants all over the UK, but uh, what very few people know is that once upon a time I did have a proper job. I was trained uh, by a relatively small firm in Banbury called Whitley Stimson, and Whitley Stimson has gone on to very great things in the years since I left. Uh, and I'm joined today by Jonathan Walton, one of the uh, directors of Whitley Stimson. Now, when I left, uh, Mr. Stimson was still popping in occasionally. Uh, there were, I think, six partners, one office. It's a bit different now. Well, Mr. Stimson was still alive for our 80th birthday party. Um, we were formed in 1931 and he popped along for that. Um, but yes, we have 14 partners now, and we're directors, and we have four offices. And our turnover's probably gone up a bit since uh, we, we spoke. We also have 91 employees. So I'm not sure what the number was when you were around. Yeah, right, so. 50, 50 or 60, I think. So the, the four officers, obviously I was, I was trained and we, the firm started in Banbury. Yes. And that, I think, is still the largest of the four offices. Yes, Banbury is the largest of the four offices. And then the second to join the family was... My office in High in, Wickham. In Wickham. Um, and that joined in 2010. Um, and then uh, a couple of years ago, we um, merged with a firm in Bicester. Um, which is now BPH Whitley Stimson, and uh, earlier this year we merged with the firm in Whitney, which was called Morgan Harris, and it's now obviously Morgan Harris Group Whitley Stimson, so MHG Whitley Stimson. We were originally kind of selling ourselves on the M40 corridor, but then obviously we found Whitney was not on the M40, and it's probably because we maybe thought Wheatley was on the M40, <laughs> but we ended up with Whitney, and we had to change some of our press and PR logos and things like that. So. But we, are, we have a very strong presence in Oxfordshire and we have a very strong presence in sectors and specialisms as well. Okay. I mean, the area that we're talking about, whether it's the M40 or, or moving sideways across Oxfordshire, obviously it's an area well known for certain things. Farming, it's very well known for. Uh, an awful lot of businesses now setting up on the M40, so an awful lot of um, larger businesses, renting space, a lot of property, etc. in that area as well. I know they're two areas that you, you do a lot of work in. Yes, we do. Um, probably best known, though, up and down the country for your work in a relatively new area, of course, which is academies. Yes. And that is somewhere where you are bordering on market leader, I would we, say. We, we have a, a substantial number of academy clients. Um, they arrange a lot of them are in Oxfordshire, but we have them on the south coast. Uh, we have them on the, on the southeast. We have them in London. And we have them in Yorkshire, um, and one of our directors, Martin Wyatt, um, along with Andy Jones, who's another director, have spent a lot of time and resource just uh, making the academy uh, team work and to make sure that the clients are looked after very well. It's very, very busy in the academy season at the moment. The year ends are all the same, <laughs> and the filing deadlines are all the same. So, and at the moment, we're kind of finishing off all the audit files, and unfortunately, I'm an RI. Um, so I have to sign quite a few of them off too. So I was doing that yesterday. Right. But then you were, you were telling me before we, we started filming that you also have a, a yet another qualification. People, people in accountancy constantly seem to add qualifications to be allowed to do specific things. Uh, and that, that, you just picked one up. Yes. So um, Atoll clients now need to have their forms signed off by an ARA, uh, an Atoll regulated accountant. And uh, we did the qualification in my firm. Um, and we're now approached by other sort of smaller firms that haven't done the qualification and we've managed to pick up quite a lot of ARA sign-off work um, and um, they, I don't think the Atoll clients like it particularly, they see it as another layer of compliance but it's one of those things that has to be done. And one of the other directors, Val Buzzard, she was actually my manager when I was uh, in Whitley Simpson, uh, has just done the, the final level of the STEP exams. So. Obviously, with the property, there's an awful lot of interaction between property and trust work. Yes. But across the board, the firm is, seems to be picking up a lot of trust work. Indeed. And that's the level of specialism, again, that the firm needed. Um, because, as we said, we're trying to make sure that, as a firm, we can differentiate the level of service that we have. So Val took it upon herself to do the STEP exams and passed them. And now we feel that we are uh, leading providers of STEP estate planning advice. Mm. Which is So you've got the tax, the personal tax, uh, all the way through to property companies, the farming, the, um, the, the, the tour operators, you're saying, uh, and the academies as well. But worth noting that actually, certainly the, the day in, day out requirements of the towns like Banbury, Bicester, uh, Whitney, etc., and Wickham, whoever you are, actually, there is a place for you at the table. Well, absolutely. I mean, most of the clients we have for in High Wickham are small, medium enterprises. A lot of them are husband and wife owned businesses. They come to us about varying their shares. Uh, they come to us about selling their business. They come to us about tax planning advice, buying Teslas. Uh, 
selling bits of kits, etc., etc. It's general routine accountancy advice, but well, I think one of the reasons that they use us is because we're still very, very much a director-led service, which, which I think was always the case when you were mm. around as well. Um, and you know, the way we're sort of structured is that each director has a sort of a PA or a manager, so clients still get access to more than one person. That's a regular, regular contact. And I think you'll remember too that uh, we're very lucky. A lot of our workforce stay, um, so we have the clients get regular contact. Um, th there's not a change of face every year, which mm. I think is a good thing as well. And I think there's there's always a fear when. Uh, you work with a, a firm, particularly as the firm gets larger, that you will lose that contact with the, the person who will sign the letter that you receive. But actually, certainly, one of the... I, I look back on it both fondly and with utter terror that uh, actually the, the partners as they were then would be the people sitting next to you out on the audit, actually with the client on the day. And I think that's, that's still true. The, the most important thing for clients is that they get a level of advice that's very clear um, and consistent and that if they can't speak to a partner, they can speak to a manager, and they become very, very comfortable with them, mm. and they trust them. And I think a concern, again, that people have when choosing an accountant, or something certainly people should look at when choosing an accountant, is, you know, where will this firm be in, in five to ten years? My business will be doing this, this, and this over five, ten years, but actually, will they have been you know, bought out and have just disappeared off to central London and we'll never see them again. But again, you were telling me that there is a really clear plan for the firm. Yes, there is a clear plan. We're very independent. We want to remain very independent. Even though we've merged with other uh, offices, we've, we've remained as Whitley Stimson. The, the other offices will eventually become Whitley Stimson as the pure brand. You know, we take things like our client retention very seriously. We take things like our employee retention very seriously. We were just nominated for the Accountancy Age Employer of the Year Awards nationally, and we made it to the finals. Um, we made it to the award ceremony. And, um, you know, that, that sort of thing is very important for us because we can learn from our employees why they want to stay and what things they'd like us to make sure we can keep them. Um, and that's very, very crucial. Mm. And I know that many of the, the directors and managers and, of course, throughout the entire firm are involved with a lot of things locally as well. They are, they are parts of the community as well very as Very much else. so, yeah. I mean, Rotary chairman this year, and I think he was part of the Banbury Cricket Club last year. We've got a lot of people on, on director level that are governors of schools as well. Uh, we've always had that. Okay. And it is that. And that is what we want from from our advisors. We want to know that they are part of the community that we are working very much. in. Yeah, very much. And so as a firm, you know, we're thinking, somebody's watching this now and thinking, okay, so that if I'm in one of these specialist areas, that sounds great to me. Um, I'm geographically, they're, they're the right place for me. But actually, geographically, it's not the end of the world. I know I went on jobs all over the UK. We do have jobs all over the UK. We have jobs in Yorkshire, jobs in the West Country, jobs on the South Coast. A lot of stuff these days is, is becoming internet bookkeeping and you know, we're very familiar with things like Xero and Twinfield and, some of the, and QuickBooks Online and Sage etc. So there are people that we don't necessarily meet face to face. And we once spoke before about something that I think sums up Whitley Stimson when I look at it from the outside now as opposed to previously as, a, as an employee and what I can see is that the things we like about traditional local businesses is very clearly there there is the size to be able to support as you grow. But the thing that I really like is that sometimes with traditional business, we tend to see quite a traditional approach. But actually, I think certainly you're a paperless office pretty much and yeah. always looking for these new things as well. We are. We are a paperless office. We've been paperless audit and accounting working paper office. We've got you know, brilliant online technology for uh, reference sources. Those things are the tools that we need to help to provide the best service that we can for really for a very good price to clients. Um, and that's just how we're structured. Mm, okay, so in, in one very short explanation, what is the reason that I'm currently without an accountant or I'm not sure about my account, I'm looking for somebody new? Um, why are you the right answer? Because you'll trust us. You'll trust us and you'll uh, learn to like us. Um, and you will be happy with the fee that we charge you and we will become your first choice professional advisor. Okay, excellent answer. Jonathan Walton, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Giles.